Hello everyone, this is Prashant Chaudhary. I welcome you all to my channel Classic Power App. This is the fourth episode of this Power to My Beginner series. In the last three episodes, we have covered how we can actually come to the Power Automate screen on the basis of what we can categorize our Power Automate flows. On the, in the third, we have explained the type of how we can actually create the auto type of flow. Now in the fourth episode, we'll see how we can create or what type of situation would be covered in the instant flow. Okay. So in the definition of the instant flow, as I already told that in the instant flow, you need to, you need the, any user to trigger the flow for you. Okay. You want your user to do some action. You want your flow to be triggered manually. That type of flows comes under the instant flow. So we'll create one basic flow for in this video. So let me just head over to my screen. So here on the home, let's go into home. We need to create one instant type of flows. So we'll go with the create. As I told that the instant flow needs to be triggered, needs to be triggered by the user's action. Okay, so this is the place from where we can proceed with the instant flow. Instant cloud flow triggered manually as needed. Click on this. We need to give a good name. Let's say this flow would uh, create item. Okay, so in that example, let's take an example. What type of flow we are actually doing? Let's say any type of requirement is there and it would be like, and your client has told you that whenever I want to create item, the list, I should I want to click to click on any button from power okay so that type of scenario is there if you need if you want to provide a button to your user whenever the user click on that button a flow would be triggered and that flow would create one item in any shape or twist. That type of requirement is there with you. Okay. So in that case, as you can say, we want our user to click any button. So let's and just let's an example that the button is present in our power application. Okay, in our canvas application. Okay, so we need to give a flow name and choose the trigger. So in that case, we need our flow to be triggered from the power app, from the button, from any click of any button. That is, that button is present in the power app. We make the trigger to be power app only. Create item and simply create this. We get the trigger. Now what we want, we need one item to be created. Let's say create item you can search like that as well so if i go with the create item i can see i get the share point i get different different connectors as well but i my list is present in the share point so i proceed with the share point only so create item click on this create item site address i'm using the this list this parent list okay so i want one item to be created in that list so the site address is my production site and the list name is my parent. Okay, so here as in the list I have only the title. That's why only one option is there. So let's say item created by flow. That type of stuff just save it here what you can see 
this flow would be triggered from the power app okay and any event of the power app and it would simply create one item in the parent list in this list of this by sharepoint okay so in order to give, provide any button to my user i will proceed with one power app okay so, so let's go with the home let's go with the power apps now and create one small very basic power app canvas from the blank let's say sample let's make it as a tablet format only okay now i need one button for my user let's say i have added one button Give it a name as click to create new item. I'm leaving all everything as it is, and now I want this whenever this button is pressed, I want that flow to be triggered. Okay, so I proceed with the action. How we can actually use the power automate in our power app that's the whole stuff i'm going to do this so the name of the my flow was my flows create item i can still remember so we'll go with the power automate and search for your flow so it was create item it is not there Atom. yeah there is the flow you simply click on this and it's simply adding that flow to my power app and now as i have designed that flow this flow is not taking any input it's simply creating one item where the item created by flow would be written in the title of my list okay so no argument is there so i simply pass close the parenthesis now you simply try to print this okay now i'm in the play mode of this application i can see that this button is pressable if i click on this button now if i come back to my site place and see i want created let's press it again refresh yeah so here I can see item created by flow. This item I have created. So how I've created this item? I haven't done anything. I simply trigger one flow from my power app, power app button. This is my button that is triggering my power app. Okay. Obviously user needs, needs to click it. Then only that flow will be triggered. When that flow will be triggered, my flow is doing all work. My flow is simply, I have designed my flow to create one item in the SharePoint list okay so that's how we can actually utilize the instant flows in case of power app you need to use this power app connector otherwise you they are there can be multiple connector that can be used for the instant flows as example you can use the button type this for the flow button this manually trigger a flow this is also used for the instant flows and there are many more as well you have to just search it okay or you can create your custom trigger if you would like to you can create that thing okay so that is all in this video even this is the example we have uh, covered for the instant flow okay so let's get stay tuned for the fifth episode where i would be explaining the schedule type of flow okay so thank you everyone thanks thanks for watching let's get